Welcome back to the weekly and the second try West High. Last week, students marched through the halls protesting against racial injustices at West High in response to a racist video from a student on social media over the weekend. Protesting continued with students wearing signs showing support of the Black Lives Matter movement and students reinstated the Black Student Union to continue amplifying their voices. The library is closed to all students until Thanksgiving break. The following Monday, IDs will be scanned to ensure students have an open period before entering the library. Also, last week, the students from CIC and the Pals Club brought back the annual teacher versus student basketball game, beating the teachers 29 to 25. Tickets for the fall musical Footloose are now on sale at theaterwesthigh.com. There will be showings December 2nd through December 4th with teasers during third and sixth period on the first. That's it for the school news this week, so I'll toss it over to Coach Camille. Welcome back to Camille's Corner. I'm Coach Camille, and today I'm going to give you the winter sports rundown. Girls and boys basketball started up last week, and the girls team clocked in ninth in the Gazette 5A preseason rankings after being a state semifinalist last year. Iowa Prep Sports also predicted the boys to go far in the state tournament. Girls swimming placed third at the state meet with several impressive finishes despite missing senior Ella Hotstetler. Among others, Jay Bruguer placed third in the 200 freestyle, and Skyler Martin placed second in the 100 backstroke, in addition to being named the 100 Butterfly State Champion for the third consecutive year. Way to finish strong, Coach and Bolt. Girls wrestling is in, is in need of some more athletes, so if you're interested, contact Elijah Sullivan and Mike Haberkamp. Finally, 10 seniors officially signed their letter of intent last Wednesday to bring their athleticism to the next level. From Stanford to right here in Iowa, these athletes are taking their skills across the nation. Congratulations, Trojans. That's all I have for you this week. Now on to this week's package. Hi, my name is Tessa Gibson, and behind the camera is Eleanor Whites. We're here today in West High, and we're on the hunt for some Harrys, otherwise known as Harry Styles fans. Let's go. What do you like about Harry? Hmm. Um, I like, what I like about Harry is that I think he's like really unique and he's not just like some former boy band member and he's also a feminist. I like Harry because he's a super good performer. Um, I think I like him because he's just a unique artist and like his style is really interesting. Um, I like Harry because I think he's a really good performer and he's hot, which is not the main reason I like Harry, but you know, it helps. He is not afraid to express himself in every way. He just, he really just doesn't care about what anybody thinks. Um, I think I like Harry. I, I really like his fashion sense. When did you start liking Harry? <laughs> when did I start liking Harry? Well, I was obsessed with One Direction and I still am. So that's when I think my love first started and it's just been growing since. <laughs> I started liking Harry around when he released HS1 because I went to see him in concert. Like a really long time, like since what, that's what makes you beautiful, like that song. I started liking Harry around like when Sign of the Times came out. Um, I started liking Harry Styles in quarantine because I was feeling like really down about myself and like listening to his music just really helped. Um, I think over quarantine maybe a little before, um, I had a lot more downtime to listen to music so I started listening to a lot of more artists and I found him. What's your favorite Harry era? Frat boy Harry. Nice. My favorite Harry era, probably like this one. I don't know. It's good fashion now. Um, probably like right now, like the like the one where because I love the style right now. It's like such a vibe. Frat boy Harry. He looks really good. Um, I really like Prince Harry. Oh, I like Nike. What album of Harry do you prefer? Fine Line or HS1? HS1. Mm. I think five line. Um, five one. HS one. Um, I would say HS one. HS one for sure. I think. Um, I think fine lines like become a little overplayed. Like I don't want to listen to one of them figure anymore. Do you have any Harry merch? And what is your favorite? I have his record, and it's in my record player. Um, I do have Harry merch. I have a sweatshirt that says "Treat People with Kindness." I have a poster of him and the fine line on vinyl, but my favorite is um, the December issue of Vogue, and he's on the cover. Yes, I do. I have a shirt 
and I have a bag and I figured him for the bag. Have you ever been to one of his concerts? I have been to one of his concerts. I've been to two. So I'm fancy. Was it fun? <laughs> no, no, it was fun. <laughs> yes, I have been to a Harry Styles concert. I went to um, the one on September 22nd, which is my birthday, um, in St. Paul. Was it fun? It was amazing. It was literally life changing. <laughs>